Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by Chris Provert from uh, Liverpool University, who's the inventor of the uh, Odor Reader. Chris, welcome. Thank you. What is the Odor Reader? The Odor Reader is a device that smells uh, and interprets the smell from biologic samples. So, as a gastroenterologist, we've been looking at diarrhoea, but we've applied this to urology as well by sniffing urine. And so it takes gas from a sample, uh, separates out the compounds in the gas, and tells us what the mix is. And what gave you the inspiration for this? Frankly, it was dogs. Um, dogs have been sniffing samples for some time, and uh, one of the first trials ever was dogs sniffing urine for bladder cancer. And we thought if a dog can do it, a machine should be able to be trained to do it, and arguably a, a machine in the corner of a lab is better than a dog that might get distracted. What sort of uh, results have you had? We've had some very exciting results in urology. We've been focusing on bladder cancer, where we have about 96% accuracy. Uh, that's a combination of sensitivity and specificity. And we can move our cut point to get better sensitivity or accuracy. Recently, though, we've been looking at prostate cancer as well. And compared with men who've got a biopsy-proven um, prostate cancer, we find the diagnosis in about 90% of men. So we think it's very encouraging and a step up on the PSA testing that many people have been using in the past. What's the next step for the, for the odor reader? The next step is, is two parts. Uh, we need to do some larger validation studies uh, and we need a commercial partner so we can get this piece of kit into surgeries and clinics so that men uh, with uh, prostate cancer and everyone with bladder cancer can have a urine test instead of a cystoscopy. And I would have thought the advantage is not just the uh, accuracy that you've talked about, but also uh, it would seem a cost-effective way of providing this service. Uh... Absolutely. Bladder cancer is one of the most expensive cancers to treat of all of them, even the leukaemias. And so the potential for providing a urine sample that will remove the need for a cystoscopy uh, has got to be a significant saving to the NHS, but actually a saving to patients as well. It's not a nice procedure to have done. And if you can have a urine test instead and defer your next cystoscopy for a year or two, that's got to be a good thing. Chris, thank you very much and best of luck with the future of that. Thank, thank you. you very much.